join us at the altar to wash in the presence of the Lord 15 minutes before its service. One of my pastor Rob's preaching on CD. If so, please cease to bring on the We invite you to our Monday night Bible study with Sergio and Rosie Ramirez here at the church at 7 p.m. We invite you to our Wednesday Bible studies. You can join us at 7.30 here at the church with Salvador Villanueva, our bilingual Bible study. We're inviting all the youth for epic youth service here on Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. here at the church. All college and career age people are invited to join us at Connection every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Interested in learning more? Please come and join us in the School of Ministry every Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. Join us on newlifefilson.com for a whole house internet prayer on the second and fourth Saturday of the month at 6.30 a.m. Miss this Sunday and want to see pastors preaching? Go to newlifepilson.com. Click on the media link and watch the pastors preaching from the Sunday you missed. Remember to give your 10%, but when you do, make sure to write clearly and whether it's cash or check. For more information, please see Janet Keyless. Welcome to our church. Good morning. I just want to thank everyone for coming here today, for my brothers and sisters, and to anybody who's, it's the first time here today. And I also want to thank everyone who's online, from brothers and sisters who couldn't make it, to anybody who's been watching for a while, and anybody's first time it is joining us here on Sunday, here at New Life Pilsen. And I just hope God blesses your day. Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is he that condemns? Jesus Christ who died. More than that, who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now if we could bow our heads down to start off with prayer. Dear Father God, you're an almighty God, and I just thank you for allowing all my brothers and sisters and anybody else online also to join us here today so that they may see through you we are more than conquerors father god through you we'll see true love father god in the name of jesus i pray amen
There is nothing impossible for you, God. We believe it, Lord God. It's you that gives us strength, Jesus.
for Jesus our God reigns forever and we want to just worship him he gives us peace and he gives us joy oh we run to you today God yes you are good Let's go. 
service today amen 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 while you guys are getting it's announcement time right now and it's also offering time so while you're getting your offerings together if you need an envelope just wave your hands and the ushers will come around got a couple of quick announcements um we're like pastor Al's been saying it's a new season this year and we're trying to do things differently and so one of the things that we want to start doing is having a a welcoming committee and it's just very simple if you're here you're part of the second service and you're available you're willing to to put some work in all, all i need you to do is come see me after church i want four or five people to just welcome our guests as they come into the service just say amen god bless you welcome and smile and just make them feel loved and so if this is something that you're interested in just come see me after service and with that being said if there's any um, new visitors, if this is your first or second time here, if you could just please stand to your feet and we want to welcome you. So if this is your first time here or your second time here, just go ahead and stand up. And churches, let, let's make them feel welcome. Stand up, stand up, visitors. Make them feel welcome. Amen. I, I had a plant there too. She, she was trying to fight. Um, our Thanksgiving outreach is uh, Saturday, November 23rd. It's at 5 o'clock. Um, if you have people that you're interested in getting, um, bringing them in as a visitor and getting them to just come and eat some food, please see myself, see, see Jeannie, see Yolani, and we really, really, really want to reach out to these people. So if you have anyone, anyone at all that you say, hey, listen, 
I want them to come and be a part of this. Just let us know, and we'll do all the work for you. We'll reach out to them for you, um, but you just got to let us know. Uh, if you want to be a volunteer for that night, if you want to set up and tear down or serve, there's going to be a bunch of food, so see me after service. and we'll, 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 We need the help, and we'd love for you to have us here. During the service, parents, uh, some, of our, uh, some of our kids, maybe they might be acting up that day. Maybe they're never feeling good. Maybe they're sick. Maybe they got scared and they start crying. If that happens and um, you still want to enjoy the service, we want to be, be, make it able to you to enjoy the service. So starting this Sunday, we have the, the service streaming live in the back. If for any reason you need to step out, grab your kid, uh, feed them, they're screaming or whatever, you can take them to the back and still not miss a minute of the service. Youth convention is coming up the day after Thanksgiving. Um, it's uh, the Friday the 28th, I think. It's $80. If you want to sponsor a youth, please see myself, see Matt, see Janet. And um, we really, really, really want to get as many of the youth as we can to go. So those are the announcements. If everyone could please stand up and um, lift your offerings up to the Lord. While you're doing that, if you could please stand and hold your uh, one by one cards the people that were believing in faith that God is going to move and listen trust me if you believe in faith that God is going to do it he's going to do it we stand on his promises in this church father in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for those one by one cards we pray that you may have your way in their lives Lord move in them oh Lord if it's your will bring them on the Thanksgiving outreach and just allow allow your presence to just move in their lives we believe in faith and declare oh Lord a new thing in their lives in Jesus name we pray for our offerings right now Lord you give us everything that we have every single thing and so thank you Lord thank you Thank you, thank you for the blessings, Lord. We gladly give our tithes to you. We gladly give our offerings to you, O Lord. Bless those that come up here with a cheerful heart, O Lord. Bless them, O Lord, indeed. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church says, Amen. you guys can come on up. <laughs>